What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Poe Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Rhyhorn Trainer Steven. I'm Bogey Scientist Sean. And today we have something we have something that we promised a long time ago. Uh, loyal fans and, uh, po and other Poe Town Heroes out there, you may remember back during the Durant uh, Durant Rhyperior video that we ended up bringing up uh, another fun deck that we were going to try, and that is Avalug. Yes. Today is that day. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right in. And this this deck, it started off very, rough. it started off very rough. We were trying to maximize things and throwing in things until we kind of realized, you know what, let's just run this as bare bones as possible. And then uh, got inspired with the uh, the uh, the Jurassic Park list, uh, Rhyperior or, or Talonflame Rampardos, and the uh, the Typhlosion list. Like you know what, let's throw it into Avalug, and that made it so much better, so much more consistent. Uh, without further ado, uh, we'll just jump right into the list, and it's all around Avalug. 120 HP Water Stage One. Double colorless energy, it does 30 damage, and then flip a coin if heads discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's a good attack, but that's not why we're using we have, it. We have a better attack to exploit. A very nice attack to exploit. Melting Flow. Three solid water energy. It's pretty steep. I We get it, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Just, just hold on. Discard the top three cards of your deck. For each water energy you discarded this way... You discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. That's up to nine. That's up to nine cards. You get three for one, six for two, and nine for three. So decks start out with, what, 47 cards after prizing and hand? 37, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so 13. you need practically, assuming you hit water energy the entire time, you need five turns? roughly to mill them out and this is hitting exactly what you need i assume you're hitting water for all every time you do it yep and you know what's funny we'll cut to the uh, light confidence in the end but i think we have my uh, moderation to this deck coming in celestial storm wait in celestial storm yeah, that cargo oh yes yes automatically start with the water energy on top of the deck that is true for a minimum of three but even then how this deck is right now it's really really good and we also pair it with Talonflame. You Surprise! Got, we've, we've already put it into two decks, so you guys may have an idea of what it does, but 130 HP, if it's in your opening hands, you get to play it as if it were a basic. And then for one energy, 40 damage, you search your deck for two cards, put them into your hand. With a free retreat. With, with a free retreat. So you want Talonflame as lead, which... Most like most of the time, you will have a town flame lead, and then have one or or have an entire bench of Avalugs on the bench ready to go. We also run uh, Manaphy for one color for one water energy. You shuffle five water energy from your discard pile into your deck. That this is more for like mid That's to recycler that can't be milled once it's on the field. Exactly. So and because we are wanting twenty water energy. We definitely will take full advantage of this. Four turns gets all our energy back into the deck. Well, yeah, four turns would get all of it back into the deck, but then it wouldn't be usable. So a realistic number would be about three turns. All your energy would be back in the deck. You know, it could be funny because the chance, what's the chance of this deck taking prizes? It doesn't. So what about counter, counter energy and the Victini? Victini Prism Star? When it comes on its way out, Dragon Storm. Maybe because you just mill all your energy back to the deck. You have to start with two fire. That's and that's twenty times. That's basically your one prize you're getting for the game to mill out the rest of your opponent. Dead. That actually isn't too bad. <laughs> all right. So either way, even not Sorry. even even <laughs> back to the show. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this deck, I have a feeling with all the stuff coming out, this will definitely, 
like blow up and be a lot more consistent a lot more consistent since we are losing town flame we will hopefully get something better in this place so we'll just go through the deck breakdown we're running four talent flame we are running a four four avalog line i uh, in the net or in forbidden light i would definitely suggest running that bergmite because one energy discard or 10 discard. damage discard a stadium card your opponent's pokemon is paralyzed so you can at least get that Paralock going if you happen to have a Bergmite start. Yes. That way you get the Paralyze, they have to play a Guzma, they have to play the Switch or Escape Rope in order to get out of there, and you, you're free from an attack. But either way, 4-Talonflame, uh, 4-4 four Talonflame, four, four Avalug, 2 Manaphy. Again, this is more mid to late game just to use the Deep Currents. Or if you're in a bind, one water energy, 20 damage, and they're asleep. Yes. That is very, uh-oh, I need a turn. And you milled both your recyclers. Yes. We run four Aqua Patch, because again, we're trying to accelerate uh, the energy as fast as we can. We run two Energy Recycler. Again, we're trying to add as much uh, energy into the deck so that we can mill them as, many as, as much as we can. We run three Evo Soda. Uh, this is more for the Avalugs because they are a stage one. This just makes sure we evolve them as soon as we can without having to search them out with a Talonflame, without having to uh, do anything like that. We just free evolution. We run three Rescue Stretcher. Uh, this is to get back, um, more or less to get back the Bergmite, the Avalug, or the Manaphy if it ends up getting knocked out in case we had it like early game yeah i need i have like to mill off the extra talent flames so exactly which if if it goes in there oh no whatever shall we do uh we run two brooklet hill so we can accelerate the bergmite the manaphy as fast as we can we run a th we run three cynthia including the full art cynthia you guys helped us with again thank you guys so much uh, so we can have a fresh hand, make sure everything we need in the deck is... Everything we need in play is in play, and everything we want in the deck is in the deck. So, water energy in, everything else out. We run one Gladian, just in case uh, any pieces that we need happen to be in the prizes. Uh, an Avalug, a Manaphy, an Aqua Patch, uh, water energy, uh, just about anything we need. Yes. We run... Uh, Four, we run four Team Rocket Tandy work because again we're this is a mill deck. We're trying to burn your your entire opponent's deck before they get a chance to use it on you. So you flip two coins for each heads. You discard two cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Two heads. That's four cards. Play it on Potown Heroes. You get zero heads and zero cards milled. Yes. Uh, we have the worst luck when it comes to this. In real life, it works wonders, but online it seems to just not like us. But we are trying it today. Maybe our luck will change. Maybe this will be the day our luck changes. I hope so. We run four Wishful Baton. Again, uh, Avalog takes three solid water energy. So we definitely want to make sure, and we want as many water in the deck as possible. So this allows us to recycle that same three energy. So if Keeping they it on the field. Yep. So if they knock up an Avalog, we have another Avalog on the in the active, ready to go to continue the mill. Bring it back or bring stuff back with the rescue stretcher, get another Avalog, so on and so forth. And just accelerate it as fast as we can. And 20 water energy. Because again, the deck is based around energy going to the discard. This is just like Typhlosion. This is just like Wish Cash. This is kind of a fun little hybrid with uh, with the uh, with Durant. This is my wheelhouse, and, and you always have you want to at least hit at least one water energy just to keep even with your opponent. Yeah, no matter we, what happens. Yeah, we started talking about this back in Crimson Invasion. We're just now putting it together, and it it is definitely going to. Uh, this is a fun deck. This is the passion build for me, and it's another mill deck, so it's in my wheelhouse. So without further ado, we'll bring the avalanche down. Yes, we know there's an incomplete line. But yeah, this one, you're definitely, um, let's see. Like, you're, you're definitely not going to win any 
top tier uh top tier tournaments with this deck if you do give us a shout out yes please give us a shout out give us your list because if you're beating if you're beating um oh what's meta right now um Buzzwall, yeah if you're beating buzzwall if you're beating guardy if you're beating steel please let it give us that list especially when you're weak to it <laughs> yeah um <laughs> But even then, uh, but if for something like a League Cup and you're looking for something brain dead, this will definitely be that deck. And you know what's funny? No, 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 no. And you... Done. We had to take one. But now we got a talent. You know what's funny? Some decks like Zork would just help you out because they like to go through that deck pretty fast. Hey, I mean, if they want to burn through their through their stuff, but I'll help, yeah, I'll help them. <laughs> but honestly, I think with uh, with water not having ooh, but uh, water having not that much of a presence except for with Empoleon, and then maybe uh, Greninja GX in Forbidden Light with um, what else? I uh, I think that's really the only water that's that's seeing like any form of competitive play. So yeah, um. Yes, we'll draw a card. Cards we don't have to mill. Ooh, Salandit Spear Tomb. Wonder what we're going up against. But yeah, if something for like a League Cup or a League Challenge, this is definitely the deck to run. It's it's sure enough to make your opponents go, why? We're, we're, we're... Yeah, infinite. Oh yeah, inf Okay, so let's see. Patch water. Brooklyn Hill for Bergmite and hold on to Cynthia till next turn. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. And since we can search out for any two cards, so a Bergmite and a Manaphy, just make sure they don't want them can stay on the field. We got to have a log. Yep. So that wait, yeah, we did. Get, get so Bergmite and get the Manaphy at the front and get him out of the deck. So you, don't, you always have a recycler available. Mm-hmm. Try to load on to Bergmite. And I think next turn, if we if it Talonflame survives this, we just search out. Actually, what we top deck wish with on? Oh, Talonflame's gonna be able to to survive this. Cause it's only gonna do like thirty damage. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's not gonna keep us down. No. Because then we'll just do that. We'll do energy on the Bergmite. Evo Soda. Evo into the Avalug. How did it know what we were grabbing? Oh, we had her. We'll use Cynthia. Oh, we had a, a, like a little escape rope. I know, right? Free retreat escape rope. We will Bergmite. With a chance for Talonflame. Wait, and then. Nope, no valid cards. Okay. Chance it. Got it. Got it. So 40, and then we'll grab... Have a look, and then anything. Um, um, get this. Oh, it probably won't survive next turn because it's going to actually open up with that hit. Oh, handiwork. Or baton. I'm actually thinking double baton. That way we at least set up multiple turns. Yes. Because I think it's going to be knocked out next turn. Hey, we're not, not burned, but we're going to be hitting, getting hit for, uh, for 120. Oh, no, whatever shall we do? We'll, we'll, we'll crunch him. Man, we can crunch and slow him down. Any energy, in the, any water energy besides that one in the discard? To be honest, I'm thinking about uh, just sacrificing a mana fee for now. <laughs> I know well, it's, uh, I know well, it's water, bad. Water pulse it. Honestly, we just need a turn. And then we will have a lug. Handiwork. Handiwork. We got one. Yeah, we got one. one. And got rid of their full of Cynthia. No yeah. valid targets. We'll just shuffle. End the turn. And then I think at this point... Hey, we keep that water... Oh, let's see. Because now... At it could technically knock it out as soon as they hit, get, give it a condition. Mm hmm. But they can't knock it out without conditioning it. Nope, because right now. Okay, so he's going to try to slow down the energy. Nope. 
Denial. Yeah. Energy stays. How much energy is in the... There's 20... No, I mean, in the discard. It's, it's 17, just the one, yeah. 16. So there's at least 16 energy in play. Because one, two, oh, three... Oh, he did the survivor. Four... Yeah, they're definitely trying to focus on condition. So the panic poison will be twenty burn, twenty poison. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Take your retreat now. And no more burn. But now we'll go energy on Avalug. No valid targets. We will... They won't get knocked out going into their turn because it's only two damage counters. They have to knock it out. Or end their turn. Yeah. 31 but you... to 34. Let's see how small that number can get. Yeah, and... and then now I'm glad we've got the baton set up. We have two... And we hope we draw a top deck the other Avalok so we don't have to mill it. We have Stretcher to get it, but I mm hope -hmm. we don't have to mill it. I would rather use the Stretcher for the mana fee. Yes. Well, the uh, like the other Avalug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, we have four, so. Yeah, that was just to take an account in case a 1-1 one, one surprised. There's the infinite. Yep. There, there's where it's going to start becoming a game. So, yeah, here's where it starts hurting. Because he set we up. Might have to we might have to crunch the Slazzle just to get out of there. The, the thing is, is the, if the condition thing is only one energy. And even then, that's still going to be 70, 80, but 60... It's already doing at least 80. Yeah. So either way, it's not going to look good. We'll have to start getting... And Avalok cannot be knocked out via conditions, because then it... So now, let's see. Nothing we can grab. Nothing for... Nothing uh, for... Uh, let's do it. Miss. Honestly, it's okay. As long as he actually attacks Avalok, it's okay. Yes. He, Avalok cannot be knocked out via condition. Because the will on, we won't, won't get the Whiffle of on. Well, if that uh, comes down to at least uh, crunch it. Oh. We're confused now. Yeah. So he can't attack. And we're still burned, so it's going to die on the way to their turn. Next, have a look. It won't be, the energy won't be going toward, towards it. So it's loading up another one. Of course, you got to go up against Condition Deck, a deck that actually loves stall decks. Oh, of course. Well, let's try it. Six. We at least got six. So he's still got eighteen cards in the in the Berg, deck. Given the Bergmite for now. Yep. Because we don't know. Oh, well, we could technically go get the. At least set it up because if anything else, we can still get the Bergmite. Mm-hmm. Well, if anything else, we always just crunch it too. But I think which I. Well, the tell you, you should have still gone up with the Bergmite. Because of the confusion. Yeah. And we got 16 cards to get. We got 16 cards to get. So we got, it's got to survive at least two turns. Yeah. That's going to be tricky. <laughs> Useful. Oh. That confusion is what hurts. Yeah. Oh, burn, so it's not dying on the way to back to their turn. Yeah, because... Handiwork. Come on, double heads. Why? You... Wait, what's happening? I know, right? Do we hit, enter a paradox or something? I don't think we entered a paradox. Okay, another analog started. Or do you want to get the man... In? Oh! That's two analog. That would have done three analog in the discard. So he has to actually knock it out, or end their turn. So no matter, 
So got ten energy in the it, deck. Actually, the only way he can get the game if we actually attack, if we get tails. Heads. Wait, wait. No, no, don't jinx it. We at least got two by the looks of it. So now he will have to attack. Yes. To move the energy onto Avalog. It's okay. Just just attack us. Although but the thing is, he just end end his turn and score our energy count. Because if, if the play is gonna come down to this, either he attacks us, we move all the energy to Avalog, and we go and just keep attacking. And see if there's a recycler in the day in the in there. Yep. Or he just passes the turn, we lose to condition, and he actually attacked. He actually attacked. Okay. He's got five cards left in deck. And we just need to hit two energy. We just need two. See if they got a recycler. <laughs> we can grab a recycler. And if he. Mm hmm. So where he has to get the last prizes. Let's put it in your hand. Let's get the other mana fee. Not good. Not like it's going to focus my. So we need two energy. Oh, Arceus. We got one. One? To be fair, all we need to do is use anything. Or attach an energy retreat and install the game out. Honestly? We can crunch. Yes. But he has the hunter's nail or the the uh, panic poison. Right, which will only do like eighty. Sixty to because be of burn. Fair, Twenty because of uh We could almost just stall up the game. Mm-hmm. We could. As long as we get an energy, we can stall up the game. And we're no longer burned. Yes. Cynthia. Hopefully. Almost Recycler. Aquapath retreat. Cycle more energy into the deck. Treat it up. Wait, how much energy do we have in the deck currently? Um, we we have, currently have eight. We okay. have a, a, at least 11 out. But we can't retreat because we're confused. We add an energy. We, we can retreat out of confusion. You can? Aqu oh, that's right. Aquapath first. An energy of Manaphy. One of the Manaphys. Okay, so Aquapath... Water on the Manaphy. Because anything, anything else, we can still stall out the game. We need two turns. We got two Manaphys. This recycler is... and Recycler. That's true. And anything else, after, after this point, just start attaching energy to Avalog. Double hurts. true. And he can't knock it out via Hunter's Nail. He has to actually use Panic Poison. Although I just realized we could have got the knockout times two to water. It does 20 in their sleep. That's what we're going for. Uh, we don't need any other attackers in the active. Because if all else fails, if he... Oh, he... Kukui. Oh, well. Still got one more card. Mm-hmm. So is he going to scoop or is he going to give us the knock? Actually, give it to us. He's got. He kind of has no choice. Once we put in the new active, it's our turn. Oh yeah, he could still scoop at this point. We can get him one price. Get him one price. Oh, before we could do it. And he scooped. All right. So let's do another match because uh, you saw the bulk of it, and even with us uh, just burning through everything. We got Sogaleo. Yay, we got a Sogaleo GX. Like our fourth one. You know what? Let us know down in the comments. Would you want to see our take on a Sogaleo deck now that we've got a Sogaleo GX? Uh, even then, like, what's their going right right now? Like, is it actually a budget, a potentially until budget the, card? Until the new one starts getting closer to our, our release date, for its release date, as a box, it will stay kind of down for us. Okay. 
So we could potentially build some something so Galeo that's I mean, not. And it also so... did come out of the tent a while back, so. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Or box or whatever it was. But it. No, we do not want a different start. No, we want Tallow Flame lead. We got almost it, almost immaculate hand. We get to just see what we're missing in the prizes. Get a Cynthia or something out of it. Oh yeah, easily. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, this could be fun. Please tell us we're going up against uh, all the GX. Will Brooklet grab Bergmite? Alolan Golem. Which Golem are we go up against? I don't know. I don't really need anything out of there yet. I'll get extra water. Just gives me a third water energy. Mm -hmm. So now we don't need any water energy. Arrow Blitz. 40, and then we will grab. We have an Avalog in hand. So we need probably Berg. We have Brooklyn Hill out there? Yeah. Yeah. So. Just grab a baton and a handiwork. Yes. Throw a baton on a town flame and then. Because always going to have another one for Av Avalog. And then. We can, Bur we can Brooklyn Hill for another one. Something tells me that's all he had was the Geodude, and we would have won next turn. Yes. All right. So we will play one more game. Yeah. We're on a roll. We are on wait, a roll. Wait. What happened? I have no idea. This is amazing. It must have been just last week. Last week was just didn't work. Last time just no. it wasn't there. No, it wasn't. But we definitely have... We are on a roll today. We we got double heads on a uh, handiwork. Round handiwork. All three. the point of that were necessary actually worked. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're we're doing good. Yes. Although it's only a matter of time that we're gonna go down to our hubris. No, 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 no. So no, no. we we want to go second. Talonflame again. Talonflame lead. And we got it actually all of our necessary Pokemon for the game. Yes. And if we top like a Brooklyn Hill, that would seal the deal. We get our two Bergmites and a Manaphy. With everything we need in hand. Well, we will have a Brooklyn Hill. Yes. Regardless, we... top decking it so we won't have to search for it later. Mm hmm. Uh, Glaceon. No. No. Sylveon. And we know it's not the new one yet. No, so it's probably Sylveon Stall? Sylveon Yeah, Sylveon Stall. All right. So as long as we don't play more bench Pokemon. You know what? Let's see Let's see which one's going to be the better stall. So long as we don't play another uh, Pokemon, we, they can't really... Well, they could play A, but play A doesn't care. We'll so go. you will need more bench Pokemon. Forget it's not Cyrus. All right, so we'll go Baton and Brooklyn Hill. Might help out the opponent too, but you know what? We we need all the help we can get. Because what does he do? No, probably magical ribbon or and then fairy and then plea. Yep, magical ribbon. So we got one at, more turn. At this point, we're pretty much doing. We're pretty much just trying to set up. He's probably grabbing hammers and everything else. Probably grabbing a glaceon to evolve. Is there anything in that deck we're gonna have to worry about? Cyrus. Um... If he's playing, uh, not really if he's playing Glaceon, but Glaceon because he can snipe out bench. Mm hmm. If they're getting the Glaceon, Ninetales can snipe out bench. We don't have to worry about Ninetales walling us because, well, we're milling, the, we're milling them, not uh, Ninetales, so. Exactly. I feel like I know what he grabbed for, out of the deck, so at least get two of them out. So he can give them targets for them to mill. Arrow Blitz. You know, let's go Bergmite. Either he'll actually attack it or he'll just plie. We'll go, we'll, yeah, we'll go Bergmite Baton. So he'll pro if he does plie, he'll be forcing the Bergmites and that blocks back to the hand. No, if I were them. Glaceon well, EX. We don't care. Glaceon no, like. Glace I I don't think anything in that deck is really going to and slow us down or stop us. And truthfully, Avalog, if in, if all else fails, we can just crunch it. 
and we can still get the uh, um, energy off the crystal ray. So you will get the knockout. Okay. Hey, Manaphy, you're unless you want a chance at a crunch because tests are locked. You know what? We've already been doing good today. Let's do it. Crunch. Bergmite. And Bergmite. Get it down to where he's actually searching things out. Yep. Crunch and heads. Nope. They want to keep that, that energy. Okay. I'll nope. let can, them. Can you knock us out this turn? You'll need another Kukui. Which, uh, according to he, Sylvia, he would miss us by 10. You know, Sylvia, Unless after a little a while, could be. It, there's not a whole lot of decks that can even play Wick, but this would be a perfect opportunity to play Wick. This really would be like a good deck for Wick. Because you can just have a lot of cards in hand and just hold on to Wick when your opponent has a pretty small hand size where the chance of drawing into stuff is minimal. But even then, Especially a lot of. Especially after they just searched the deck. Although, if you really sit down and th Oh, Guzma. come on. Okay, now I got the Bergmite. <laughs> Rainbow! Knock it out. Oh, stall. Stall it, yep. Not a bad strat, though. No. Oh. Now I thought I would see Glaceon again. I know, you would think it would have been the GX, which... Which well, would, then, uh, then again, the EX does see play a lot right now. Not as much as it used to. Because I think, what is it, Lele kind of walls it? You know, it. I just noticed something, and I don't know if it's, like, on purpose or not. But, you know, you see how the GX are so bright and vibrant, yet the EXs just look dark. dark. and dull. Yeah. Like, is it just me? No. That, let us know down in the comments. Is it just me, or, like, is there an obvious difference between the two? Uh, let's go energy onto Avalug. What does Plea do? Forces two Pokemon back to the hand. So if he actually thinks it's a threat, which at this point I would, I would if I were him, but unless he has another GX tech he likes to use. If he, see, if he thinks Avalug's a threat, or he waited for a three to get down there to do it, he'll probably scoop the two with two. Uh, with energy attached, yeah. I don't know why, but it slows down. I think right now it's just who sets up first. Oh, well, although I, by the looks is, of as, it, as long as he keeps drawing cards, mm -hmm. helping us out. The magical ribbon. So what would be a good thing to bring up because, the active? Well, to the thing stop? is, something tells me that he's got nothing that can really go up against us. Because we've got no no special energy, so he can't hammer. Uh, he could crushing hammer, but a lot oh, of... Oh, it starts attacking to, attacking to Bergmite, so we can sit, say, set up our next... So we can at least retreat next turn. Let's heal. <laughs> no, we'll just end turn. So no matter what happens, we get the retreat next I, turn. Now I really do wish I had the, the new one. The the Bergmite that's coming out in Forbidden Legend. Yeah. Pop that forbidden light. Pop that stadium and paralyze it. Yep. Pop this. Actually, well, with this you can't. But it. Oh uh, no. He okay. He got rid of the batons. That's gonna hurt us a little bit. He's going for the one shot with an Altaria. So he needs to heal it. Oh. Yeah. Something tells me this isn't gonna go as well. Yeah, we're just dead drawing. So what does the Miss Ball do? Miss Purge? It does Special energy, okay. Yeah, one hundred, anything with special energy wait, if and this Pokemon has special energy attached, it is thirty more. So something actually wants to hold on special energy regardless of what happens. And heal thirty from each of your Pokemon. So that's actually really good. I mean Avalog just there for a clutch and we lost us. I mean Sylveon's still good. It's oh, still one of the best setup Pokemon there is. It is. But for what this deck is, it's actually not too bad. Come on, Avalug, top deck. Avalug, so Not an exact Avalug, but it'll have to do. It'll have to do. 
least, can we get at least three top decks of energy? Two, one. We got one, so that's three. Yeah, and 10 then, points is a problem, but... And then he's got the one shot, yep. Yeah, we're not going to win this one. As as optimistic as I am, we're not going to win this one. The, that Altaria... Oh, we have Talonflames in hand. He does, like, like Gale Wings. It's supposed to give him free, uh, um, priority, right? Two heads on handy work. <laughs> everything else in the deck's working. Now the handy deck. Now no, the... All, everything else in the deck's working. Yeah. It doesn't help that he's one-shotting uh, Avalux. Mm -mm. What was the hit points of the new one? 140? I was... think it's 140. Hey, at least heal. <laughs> we'll, he we'll heal 30. <laughs> we'll heal the 30. Well played. Have a good day. Yeah. Sylveon is still really is just a powerhouse deck. I I really can't look at that wick start. You can just wick and just save half your deck and yeah. Thing is, I don't think he was truly worried about um, us decking him because if he ever needs to just end yeah his hand away pretty much. Uh, so that was Avalug. Uh, like I said, we promised this back way back in like the Crimson Invasion, like our what second third video we promised this deck yeah something like that. But, and then we brought up again uh, during Jurassic Parks. So we had to do it. Yeah, we or, we, or Typhoon was one of the two. Yeah, either way, you guys knew this deck was going to be on. It it's self mill. That's that's my wheelhouse. And that if you guys ever find a deck like that, uh, like anything where you have to discard energy attached, discard energy from hand, energy from deck, energy and discard. Oh, wait. I will always run there are, that. There are a couple coming out in Celestial Storm. That, that nice little Froligator. I know. I know. That will be a deck. We're I'm we're 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 gonna build it here in August. Um, although there is something else that's actually gonna be rotating soon. And that'll actually get a bonus when uh, when the new stuff comes out uh, here next week, I do believe. Uh, May 4th is when the yeah, May Forbidden 4th. Light releases. And then two weeks after that is when it... Two Fridays, three Fridays after that, including that Friday, uh, it becomes legal in tournament play. So yeah, I think by the time this video is going to be up, it'll be, it'll be about a week, maybe a week and a half before the set comes out. Yeah, I, you know what? Tune in next week, and we'll definitely have something really, really fun planned. Just fear hedgehogs. Yes. We will show you the face of your demise. Uh, but either way, uh, please let us know down in the comments. Would you want us to see? Would you want us to run a Solgaleo deck? Would you want us to run a? Uh, or is there another mill or a dis self or energy uh, type deck? Something uh, a lot like Avalog, where it's self mill. Um, Please let us know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town Hero yourself. Uh, be sure to join us on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore Town underscore Heroes. Uh, and then be sure to hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well and may the top deck be in your favor.